I'm Brian Larkin, Larkin is in the street, and I am once again running for the District 1 seat on the Board of Supervisors. I ran in 2008, the last time there was no incumbent in the race. I have lived in the Richmond District since 1985, and with my wife Debbie, we raised our three daughters there. All of them attended San Francisco public schools, a super majority of them all the way through to high school graduation. The third, Julianne, went to Star of the Sea and later Sacred Heart High School. The two older ones graduated from the University of California. Julianne is a senior now at Cal State Chico. I'm an engineer by education and experience and am now semi-retired after a career that included seven plus years with Chevron and more than 11 years with BART in various capacities. I started seeking employment with BART in the mid 80s when I realized how much more rewarding it would be to me to be working on public rapid transit than on helping to sell more gasoline. My main reason for running again at my advanced age is the same as it was in 2008, to bring underground Muni Metro Rail service to the Richmond District. Before I continue on the subway plans, a little bit about the current makeup of the Board of Supervisors. The 11 member board is currently comprised of representatives of five solidly moderate districts and five solidly progressive districts, and District 1, which is a swing district. You can go either way. As such, D1 should have a lot of leverage that it could use to its benefit, such as getting support for a Muni Metro Rail project. We haven't seen this benefit in recent years. I would be willing to work with the progressives and the moderates on the Board of Supervisors on their reasonable goals, but with the proviso that they support me in achieving substantive improvements for the Richmond District. Back to the Muni Metro Rail extension. The northwest part of San Francisco is the only part of the city that does not have metro rail service. The 50,000 plus daily riders of the various 38 Geary bus lines notwithstanding. It takes someone like me, who lives in the outer Richmond, as long to get downtown on the bus as it does someone coming in from Lafayette on BART. That's a long time. Speaking of long times, by election day this year I will have turned 65 and be, officially, a senior citizen. In addition to providing adult supervision to the board, I would be an empathetic voice for the district seniors. Older people have their special challenges, and while various government agencies recognize this and provide support, they're mostly staffed by younger people who know about old age from having read something about it in Wikipedia. Not the case with me. I'm living it more and more every day. I'm advocating this year for the same things I did back in 2008 but this time with a greater sense of urgency and with more gray hair. The urgency comes from the pressure to increase housing density, such as through the Affordable Housing Density Program, and especially along certain corridors, one of them being Geary Boulevard. I hear words like housing crisis and get nervous. The first casualty of managing crises are rationality and reasonableness. In 2008, in this same forum, I stated that increased density was inevitable, especially in desirable places to live, like San Francisco. But without commensurate improvements in infrastructure, increased density can turn a livable place like the Richmond into an overcrowded mess. Now, along with better transportation, there should be other improvements in infrastructure, such as undergrounding or overhead utilities. About half the city has already had this done. The Richmond is not even on the schedule for it. There's little chance of any of these improvements happening without the District 1 rep being a full-time advocate, indeed a champion for them. I want to be that champion. Vote for me on November 8th. I want your first place vote, but I'll take your second or even your third place votes. Remember, it's Larkin, just like the street.